Welcome back to Darkwood. It is, I believe, day 11. And there's quite a few things I want to do today. So, take a look at my inventory real quick. So I plan on going over to the wolf's camp and using these antlers. Each one's worth 100. I'm going to sell both of them. That's a total value of 200, which should be just the right amount to buy the toolbox from the wolf, which I can use to upgrade the tool the workbench. I'm also going to go over to Piatrek's house with the fan belt and the battery, because I think that they might be interested in those items. So that's kind of my plan outside. Hopefully I can also fit in some exploring some new places as well. A um, couple other things, though. So I've got tons of reputation with this person. Should I buy another watch? Or should I buy a shovel blade? I think... So I imagine an axe would be, well, probably quite a good weapon, I would assume, but also probably good for knocking down doors. The shovel, I guess, would be just for digging. I should probably get a gun, though, shouldn't I? But for a weapon, I think I need weapon parts and, like, a handgun frame. That is, if I want the pistol, which I do. I think all the other things I can build are just one-shotters that blow up after one use. So it cost almost a thousand to get weapon parts and a handgun frame, not to mention I don't even think I have any rounds, so... Um... I'm thinking, do I want the watch or do I want a shovel blade to go back to the underground entrance to try to open that place up? I'm really curious what's in that underground place. The watch would be good, though. Ah, I'm gonna get the shovel. I can't actually make the shovel yet. Yeah, I've got all the parts for it, but I need to upgrade my workbench. So I'm just going to store that for now. I've also cleaned this up a little bit, and I crafted some things. Tossed a couple things on the floor, like some stones and broken glass. Um, okay, before I leave, there's one more thing to do. So there's a button here called Upgrade Item. I've never clicked it before, just now. I clicked it, and it turns out I can upgrade these boards with nails. So, let's try that. Let's uh, repair this one first. Okay, so I can make it hardened. Better weapon durability takes a lot of scrap. And also the only one metal pipe that I have. More nails I can definitely do. Inflicts more damage. Light material. Attacks use less stamina. Takes two pipes. Hmm. I should start buying some more pipes, because I don't think they're too expensive. Oh. Oh, upgrade zero of one, so it can only support one upgrade. More durability, less stamina, or more damage. Well, I mean, more damage certainly just sounds better. I wonder how much more damage. No room for upgrades, I need to upgrade my workbench. Okay, so maybe the next level of workbench would allow another upgrade. Interesting. So yeah, these staffs that I keep getting from the savages have really good range and seem to do about the same damage as the base board with nails, unupgraded. But uh, I can't upgrade them or repair them. So I guess I'll just leave this behind for now and take this. Yeah. I'm trying to think, should I take the staff with me just to have another weapon? Nah, how often do I need two weapons? It's fine. Um, I also want to craft the lantern. So it takes a little bit of gas, two rags, and two empty bottles. Just, you know, stuff that's super common, and I have tons of it. I just want to know how it works exactly. Do I have to refill it with fuel, or... Or what? Let's try it. It's very cheap to make. So selecting it doesn't actually do anything. Does it need to be in my hotbar or just on my inventory? Okay, as soon as I took it out of my hotbar, it got darker. Oh, and it looks like it is burning up. Yeah, it's at, uh, looks like the base value was 100, so now it's at a value of 98. Yep, so just having it on my hotbar provides 
decent amount of light. I'll try taking that instead of the flashlight for now, I suppose. See how good it is in actual darkness, perhaps. Also allows me to save a slot. I don't need a slot for the flashlight and a battery. Oh, where's my pills? Ah, put them away. Yeah, weapon, molotovs, and pills. Damage, different type of damage, and healing. Okay, let's go turn off the generator and head out. Let's go to the wolf's camp first, and then down to Pietrex. Oh! Oh, oh, oh! It's on me. It's okay though, I'm on the path, I'll be fine. I wonder how long the bodies stay behind. I killed them yesterday. Don't touch that body. I've learned that much. Toolbox, 200, antlers, perfect. Yeah, so metal pipe is 60. I think you can only buy one per day, or, you know, however much they have per day, and then I guess they probably restock the next day. That almost makes me want to buy this, but then my reputation of them will be 20, which... Uh, I don't know. I'm scared. I don't want to do that. Let's just go with that. Okay, down to Piatrix. It's down and to the right. Have I ever been straight down over here? Oh, some wood. Oh, here's Piatrix. Show item. Aha, battery and fan belt, yes. Battery. A hybrid rocket engine. Gained reputation, a hundred. And a new journal entry. Wow, this will fit perfectly in my rocket. Have you seen it? Have you seen my rocket? It's almost as pretty as Gagarin's. Well, almost. We just need to find some parts and it will be complete re completely ready. Would you bring them to me, the other parts? I would then fly to space, into the moon, into Mars, and Jupiter, into the sun. I mean, I would land at night. <laughs> and that's not how it works, Piatrek. The boy suddenly looks into my eyes. Look for old tractors. You will find the missing pieces for my rocket in them. Fan belt. Hold door frame stabilizer. Only two more to go. Two more parts, huh? Wonder if something you know, I wonder what happens if I give them all the parts. Well, I've gained a much reputation, so I could buy some stuff. Such as a metal pipe. I'm definitely gonna grab that. Anything else that's relatively cheap that I maybe need some more of? Um I still don't know what this chain is for. 
I imagine tape would be good too. Why is it red? Why is it tinted red here? The pipe is not tinted red. This is tinted red. Most things seem to be tinted red when I buy them. What is, does that mean something? At first I thought maybe it meant that like it's gonna hurt my reputation or something, but obviously not. I mean, this hurts my reputation. I don't know. Weird. Look at the sturdy chain and the pipe. Hope that reputation isn't too low. You can have, um, stone? It's not actually worth anything, but, um, yeah. I mean, I gained 200 reputation, and I just used up 210 of it, so it's almost a one-for-one -one trade. Oh, I left some meat here, right. Man, I wonder how long stuff lasts when you drop it. Maybe forever. Where to next? Definitely plenty of time left in the day to explore. Maybe just start to go down here, so I'll go left, hit the edge of the forest, and just travel along here. dark. I'm gonna put the lantern on me. Yeah, so it gives you a non- Whoa. Oh, that's a big dog, that's a big dog, that's a big dog. They hopefully can't jump over fences? Woo! Oh, that might have been a bad idea. Oh! Shit! Wow! Wow! It's fucking horrible! What did I lose? I lost the chain... and... Um, the chain and the pipe, but I have the toolbox. Okay, that's not terrible. That's not terrible. Man, this upgraded board didn't seem to do that much damage. Well, I guess I got a quick teleport home to upgrade my <laughs> workshop. So the next upgrade takes something other than a toolkit. I'm not quite sure what that is. Maybe a welder or something, or almost looks like a like a gas dispenser. It's probably a welder. Armor. <sighs> Ooh. But I have to upgrade it to be able to make that. That would be very good, though, for sure. Okay, I can make a shovel. Sickle. Doesn't interrupt enemy attacks. Just like the knife. Maybe I should try the knife. I don't know. Can't upgrade the knife. Well, I'm gonna make the shovel. Do I have enough time to run back... Over here. Probably not. I want to do that at the very beginning of a day. Yeah. So I'm going to leave this shovel behind because I really, really don't want to risk losing it if I die. 
can you believe I've died twice already? I'm glad I don't have it on permadeath. Well, I don't know if you get a time penalty when you die. And time passes? I would assume so, but... Let's... Go out and explore again, I guess. So. We're here. I'm just gonna go down. Let's just go down. Yeah, if I see a big dog, I'm not going to try to fight it hand-to-hand. -hand. It's definitely getting a Molotov. Is that a bear trap? Yeah. Let's get that lantern on. Oh yeah, so I forgot to mention. Learn two important details about the big dogs there. They can attack you while you're doing the jumping over the thing animation. And also, they can jump over the fence. The hell was that? What is that noise? I don't think it's this person, is it? No, it sounds like something else over here further. I'm gonna get ready with the Molotov. Oh, I don't have any lockpicks, do I? Shit. What is that? Of course. Is this marked on the map by any chance? Sort of. It's got a little mushroom to mark it. What the hell is in this forest and why can't I see it? It sounds like it's so close. Oh! Whoa, 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 whoa! Oh! mushroom monsters, and they're very fast, and they explode violently, and leave all sorts of giblets behind. They're even literally called a mushroom man. It's making disturbing noises. Okay. Please stop making noises. I'm gonna go back and try to get a lockpick. I really want to open that crate. It's usually pretty good stuff in locked crates. Yeah, these Molotovs are really powerful and relatively cheap to make, too. I definitely want to make sure I never leave the house without a good stock of them. Speaking of, I think I've got another one in here somewhere, I thought. Do I not, or... Oh, there it is. I should cook that meat real quick. Oh, I can't even make a lockpick. I just don't have a lockpick and I can't make one. And two wires. Shit. I'm gonna keep one on me just in case I find one out in the wild. It's 
It's not getting dark, is it? Doesn't look like it. I mean, it always looks like it's getting dark, but it doesn't look like it's actually getting dark. Okay. Maybe down and to the right this time. I think I heard a savage. Yep. Whoa. Oh. Oh, I think it was a dog going after the savage. Well, that's good for me. That's a big dog, by the way. That's where the Mushroom Man exploded. So I'm like... Right here. Oh. Whoa, what's... Th Silo. What is that figurine? Looks like a Pinocchio mask. This place is massive. That's a moving one. Don't touch it. I hear mushrooms inside. At least I hope it's mushrooms. Yep. It's a body. Um... Is there someone here? It's, oh, it's a mannequin. Bambino gramophone. Can I break this thing? Damn it. go into the tunnel. Oh, there's a bed over there. Somebody was or is staying here. They seem to be out at the moment. Ah, a wire. Dead rat. Ew. What if they've been living on him? Let me craft a lockpick. I hope I can get out of- oh, oh, it's turning dark, isn't it? Yes, it is. Alright, I need to get the hell out of here. silo. The locked thing is up and to the left. 
I'm just keeping the Molotov on me, like, at all times. Here's the chest. Antidote, bottle, stuff. Okay. Decent stuff. Nothing amazing. Straight up, right? No, up and to the right. Okay, let's take that torch off. Or the lantern, rather. This night, we're doing bear traps. Let's get on fuel. No worries there. Okay. Uh, can I make another bear trap? Yes. Let's make another one. Let me make a bandage. I don't have any alcohol. Cook the mushrooms. I notice the efficiency seems to change sometimes. I've seen the efficiency at three and at four. I don't know what changes it. Unless I've just maybe misread this dose three for the four, I don't know. Not certain, but I think it may change based on something. Why does it look red outside? I thought it only looked red when the day was about to... Oh! 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 <laughs> Fucking hell on it! Ugh. I'm about to die again. Wow! Twice in one episode! Oh my god. Well, it's gonna end the, uh, the day quite quickly, huh? Okay. Stepped on my own trap. What did I lose this time? What did I have on me? I don't remember. I don't think I lost much. Jeez. Oh. Wait, you can recover the stuff you lost? I didn't know that. So something I want to check. I'm going to disarm this bear. Wait, actually, hold on, hold on. How much scrap do we have? We have one scrap. I want to see how much I get for disarming one that I've placed myself. Two, three. Yeah, you only get two scrap. That's very strange. So if you disarm a chain trap that hasn't gone off yet, you get the same amount of scrap back that you put into it, two. If you disarm a bear trap, you get less. You get two scrap back instead of the three that you put into it. Okay, they just walked through this door. The bear trap's right there. I I don't understand. Are traps just, like, useless? Is their trigger radius just ridiculously small? I don't know. 
But I, I might as well disarm this if it's not going to go off when something walks right through the door. I feel like I maybe I just need to get better at placing them. I don't know. I mean, it's already right there, but maybe instead of right in front of the door, I need to put it more like at the corner. Like here. Since that seems to be where they walk through. I don't know. Having a hell of a time staying alive, though, that's for sure. Okay. Well, I think I'll end it there. I don't think it actually said day 12, did it? But it must be day 12. Oh, I didn't read this either. Day 11, when I gave this stuff to Piatrek. Now I've heard everything. I've met a boy named Piatrek. He told me he's building a rocket, but he's missing some parts. From what I've understood, he's constructing a rocket from parts of a broken tractor. It's absurd, but I think I may help him. Well, I hope you've enjoyed so far, and when I return, we're going to begin day 12 and hopefully not die twice.